Hey, so in this video, I wanna show you something that's been pretty amazing for WhaleSync. This is how you can build hundreds or even thousands of programmatic SEO pages, all with no code, using just WordPress, Airtable, WhaleSync, and OpenAI. So literally, we're gonna have AI write descriptions for every city or really any programmatic SEO campaign you wanna run, and we're gonna get that live on WordPress all in the next few minutes. So I'll go step-by-step step how you can do this yourself, and very quickly we'll get into what programmatic SEO is. So with all that out of the way, let's get into it now. So before we get into how to set this up yourself, let's just quickly cover what programmatic SEO is and why it's so valuable. So as a quick example, imagine you are on Google and search for food delivery in New York. What comes up are some links to Grubhub and DoorDash. And if we click into that first one from Grubhub, what we'll see is a page that says, find New York City restaurants near you. And this is awesome because if you're searching for food delivery in New York, this is actually exactly what you want. You wanna see New York City restaurants. Now, if we go back and we search for food delivery in Los Angeles, we'll see the same page from Grubhub. And if we click on it, it looks pretty much exactly the same, except for now we are saying, talking about the best to Los Angeles restaurants and this background's a little different. But what Grubhub is doing is they're not creating one page here by hand for every city in the world. Instead, what they're doing is using programmatic SEO. So basically they're creating one template page where it says get food delivery from the best and then insert city restaurants. And then they're using data. So collecting a bunch of data in a spreadsheet or database and filling this in programmatically. And now they have hundreds, potentially thousands of these different pages that all look the same, took them very little time to build. And anytime someone searches for best food delivery in or food delivery in a city, they can rank and get that business. So that's the promise of programmatic SEO. And that's what we're going to do in this video is set up your own version of this. So before getting into the step-by-step, -step, let's just first take a look at the end result. So this is an example of a page we're going to build. This is a fake moving company that we're setting up programmatic SEO pages for in every city in the US. And what we'll do is create one template page that looks like this, where we have a picture of the city. We talk about being the best moving company in that city, a short description about the moving company, and then the rest of the page is pretty templated. So talking about our local services and everything else from there. The key thing to keep in mind is that we're not gonna build each of these pages one by one. This is one template, where this is getting the information dynamically. So this is basically saying best moving company in and then city. And this uh, little description here is being written by AI. So that's the quick overview in WordPress. Next, let's get into how we prepare the data so we can sync this into WordPress and ultimately create these pages. As we set up our programmatic SEO pages, the first thing we're going to need to do is collect the data that's going to fill in these pages. So as we think about New York and Los Angeles and other cities that we want to create a page for, each of those will be a row in this Airtable base. Now you can use a database, you can use Google Sheets. The reason we use Airtable is that it's really easy to work with a bunch of data like this and to edit and play around with it as you figure out exactly what you want to show on your page. So as an example, I've set up a database here in Airtable with a few of the different other tables that you might want to sync, but for the purposes of programmatic SEO, let's just focus on this table. We'll call it moving locations. And in that table, I've created a few fields. Again, you can copy this template um, after by following the uh, show notes. Uh, basically, you can add a new row for every city. So let's go ahead and add one for New York. And let's add one for Los Angeles. And what this is basically doing is Every field here will be synced over to WordPress and can be used dynamically on our pages. Um, we'll probably want these to be published by default, and we can even go into Airtable and make that our default option. Um, for heading, we're using a formula here. So I had it here as moving in New York City. Let's even make this a little nicer. Best moving company in city. And now uh, Airtable will automatically calculate what it is, let's change, let's fix that typo, what it is that we want to show up in this heading. Finally, we have a description, which later we'll fill in with AI, but let's come back to that in a little bit. 
Okay, so we've set up our backend in Airtable. That's where we're gonna collect all of the data for these pages. Now let's go set up the front end in WordPress. In order for WordPress to be able to use that data dynamically, we'll need to set up a few things. First, let's go to plugins and install a plugin called ACF, also known as Advanced Custom Fields. Once you've set that up, we can open up ACF and it'll look like this. All we need to do is create a custom post type, right? So this is a basically a template page that WordPress can uh, create and then be used to dynamically create the RSDO pages. So let's add a new one here and we'll call this maybe uh, locations, right? Something like that. A single one would be location and the key should look something like this. And we're good. Once we've created that locations, you'll notice it pop up over here, just like a page or posts would, which is exactly what we need. Now, the next thing we'll need to do is to find the fields. So if you remember, if we go over to Airtable, uh, you can see all the fields that we created. So city, city description, image, heading, status. We're gonna need to do the same thing over in WordPress. So let's go ahead and add a field group. We'll call this first field, let's call the field group actually uh, moving locations, something like that. And let's add a field for what, what do we have here in Airtable? Uh, city description, heading, right? Those are, and city image. So those are the three we really need. Um, city description, go ahead and do that. Let's add another one for heading. And let's add a third one for image. So let's grab that and we'll call this to the image. Great. So we can save those. Once we've saved this, we're gonna to wanna to look at the settings. Um, so show this field group if we want this to show up on our location. Uh, the one that we just created with advanced custom fields, right? So these over here. Um, so let's go ahead and save that. And then let's get into the group setting here, which is show in REST API. So in order to be able to sync data from Airtable into this ACF field that we're just setting up, we need this toggled and we'll save that as well. Perfect. So now WordPress is set up with our advanced custom fields, Airtable is set up with the table and field that we need. We'll need to connect these now with WhaleSync. So I'm gonna open that up. This is the WhaleSync dashboard if you're not familiar. Basically, what WhaleSync lets you do is easily two-way sync data across the different apps you need, so you can do cool stuff like programmatic SEO. So in WhaleSync, let's hit Create New, and let's first connect to Airtable and WordPress. I'll fast forward through this so you don't have to watch me authorize the two, but in a second, we'll go ahead and map all those tables. All right, so I've now authorized Airtable and WordPress. We can go ahead and save this connection. If you're doing this on your own, you'll get this little pop-up that says, read our setup guide. Highly recommend checking that out. There are other tips and tricks that are not covered in this video that might be useful. But once you've read that, you can go on to map tables. And basically what we're gonna do is sync, uh, or tell WhaleSync that we wanna sync Airtable and we wanna sync WordPress. So this automatically mapped all of the tables that I have in this Airtable base. So it knows that there are pages and posts and users, all the things in WordPress that someone might wanna sync. But again, for purposes of this video, uh, the key thing is that moving locations table. So we can just click add a table, click moving locations and map that to location, which we set up over in WordPress. Once we've mapped that table, we're gonna wanna map all of our fields. And so there we go. We've got a bunch of tables that again, are really helpful for syncing WordPress, but we probably don't need to worry about for programmatic SEO. So let's just toggle those closed for now and let's focus here on the locations. So status, heading, city image, city description, they're all mapped up and we can hit save base. So this is good to go. We've mapped seven tables, we mapped 66 fields. And in a minute here, we'll turn this on. I'll actually come back to the dashboard. We'll turn this on in a minute here and that will start the syncing. But before we start syncing, let's get into how we can use OpenAI to actually fill in the description section with AI written content. Okay, so we're getting towards the end of the setup. And right now what I wanna cover is how to actually add OpenAI so that AI can write these descriptions, right? It'll be pretty easy to copy and paste 
50 or 100 cities into this list, but you'll then need AI to write a description that can talk more about whatever it is that you wanted to talk about. So to do that here, uh, what we we'll need to do is first create a prompt. So with OpenAI, we need to send it some information to tell it what to write, and we need that to be slightly different for every city. So we'll let's create a new field here called, uh, well, that's a formula field, and we'll call this prompt dash city description. And let's write, write a two sentence description about the best moving company in. And we need to use the variable from this on our SEO landing page, like that, right? Um, whoops, I forgot an and here. So there we go, and. And there we go. So now we have, let's move this over here by the, the description. And we've got a prompt, right? So we can take a look at the Los Angeles one to write a two sentence description about Los Angeles for our moving company. Great. Now that we have a prompt, we need to actually talk to OpenAI. And the way to do that if you're using Airtable is with an extension called Data Fetcher. You can use this to start. And let's actually open this up a little bit um, to uh, a full screen here. Yeah, this is great. Create first request. And they actually have an OpenAI integration, which is awesome. And let's just call this city description uh, with AI. Perfect. So you'll need to enter your OpenAI API key to get this going. And then let's pick an endpoint. So what we want is a completion. So basically we're gonna send a text prompt and then it'll complete it. So the prompt here, we've already set up with our formula. We can hit plus and we want this to be the prompt city description, which is great. We can confirm max tokens. Let's give this like a high number just to make sure that we don't get cut off. And we should be good there. Let's go ahead and click save and run. Continuing, what it's gonna do is run this and then tell us where we wanna put the result. Let's put it into an existing field since we already have the city description field and save and run, which is great. So that's gonna save, it'll start to run our records. Talking to OpenAI can take a little bit of time. Um, so as you do this for a thousand records, right, this'll take a few minutes, but for two, it should be pretty quick. And here we go. Let's take a look at what we got. So for New York, we've got this one about reliable and professional moving solutions in New York. And in LA, we've got one here. Now I'm taking a look at this and I'm thinking, first of all, this has some quotes around it. We probably don't want that. And maybe we want it to be a little more local, right? Like this could actually be kind of similar across the two. Let's go into our prompt and just update that. So let's say, make this local to and then and city and period um, and do not include quotes. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's delete these just for the example. We'll go back to beta fetcher and we'll come back into city description and let's run it. So again, this will take a minute or so to run. It'll start to fill this in. And let's see the results we, we've got. So New York's premier moving company, stress-free. This one talks about uh, being reliable no matter the size. So again, you can play around with the prompt to get exactly what you want. It really depends on your programmatic SEO use case, but you're now set up to have an Airtable base that has all the data that you need with AI and it's ready to sync. Let's move over to the last step here. All right, so we're now starting to get the data into Airtable. We have WhaleSync set up and ready to go. Last step is taking a look at WordPress. So on the WordPress side, we previously downloaded the ACF plugin. Let's now install one called Elementor and specifically Elementor Pro, which starts at $60 a year. So once you have Elementor Pro set up, which if you're a WordPress, a user you're probably already familiar with, it lets you create pages using drag and drop builders and specifically it lets you add dynamic data. So we can take data from these ACF fields and pop them into our page. So I'm gonna hop into an example page to show you how that last bit works. 
All right, so we're back with the original page we showed at the beginning of this video. And this is one of our SEO pages. So this is showing the best moving company in New York and a little description, again, that you now know is written by AI. So if we open up the Elementor panel, again, this is using Elementor within WordPress, we can start to see how all of this works. And just as an example, let's pop in a new heading just to show you how the original one came to be. So you add in this new heading, you'll see this little dynamic tags. That's how we're going to pull in dynamic data. This is how we make sure that the programmatic SEO pages are different for every single city. So we can click dynamic tags and we'll want to scroll down to the bottom here where there's ACF, open up that ACF field and then click into it again and it'll look for a key. Um, you'll want to look for the specific ACF fields that we just created. So I believe this is locations or it might be moving locations. Yeah, I think it's moving locations here. Um, these are other field groups that we've set up previously and let's pick heading. And there we go. Best moving company in New York. Same idea for this section and here we're basically just clicking on the little dynamic tag, picking ACF and then picking the field that we want to populate there. And that's really it. I'm going to delete this last one. Um, but basically what this allows us to do is fill up all the data in ACF, make one template page with Elementor, and then pop in that data dynamically so that as we create new pages, it automatically fills in the page. And that's how you do programmatic SEO. All right, I hope you found that helpful. That was a quick overview of how to set up programmatic SEO with WordPress. In other videos, we'll cover advanced things like images, but you should be able to get the idea of here's how you get data into Airtable, here's how you add OpenAI to it, and finally, how you sync it into WordPress so you can use it in Elementor programmatic pages. If you have other questions, feel free to leave them in the notes or reach out to us directly. Until next time.